Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayes. I'm gonna show you my squash plants now. Actually, you know what? I believe this could be cucumber plants. I get them sometimes confused because the leaves, they're kind of similar to squash plants the way they grow in a way. But I believe these, since they're kind of pointy, I believe they're um, cucumber plants actually. And by the way, look at that y'all. I got my ghost pepper plant. I got my other ghost pepper plant. A lot of uh, pepper plants over there. I got a lot of tomato plants on the other side. Let me go ahead and show you the tomato plants while I'm at it. These tomato plants, there's some pepper plants there too. I know I need to th uh, thin out the uh, grass some more. Uh, it's just you gotta try to do what you can do with all the weeds growing everywhere. Uh, if anybody has any tips on how to manage all the weeds, please let me know. I've been using my lawnmower in between the plants and also a weed eater, but I have to be careful with the weed eater. And I know I can pull like, like pull the weeds like this as well and it thins it out like my other previous video with my watermelons and uh and this this right here is going to help the tomato plants grow better i'm trying not to pull up the roots too much because that tomato plants in there this is a chef john brand no chef jeff's i mean tomato plant brand mountain pride and this already has a little small tomatoes on it this will be the big tomatoes, Lord willing, if they'll grow good and everything. It has a little thing on the end of it, which is really cool. That's really cool, y'all. And uh, I got a few good amount of tomato plants. And uh, I need to thin some of this out for the uh, health of the tomato plants. Any little bit of weed pulling, like the grass and plantain leaves, will help the tomatoes to grow better. There we go. Let's try to make it stand up a little bit better, if it wants to. That's a little bit better there. Oh, my hat came off. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, this is kind of my garden tour. As you see here, this is a husky cherry red hybrid cherry tomato and we already got some tomatoes on there that's probably almost ready to be picked lord willing those in a few days will be good it looks good already to be honest but it's a little bit too orange it needs to be a little bit more red for the tomato cherry red uh, and those would be good the cherry the husky the husky uh, cherry tomato husky cherry red hybrid cherry tomato and these are the big ones right here my fence kind of fell down on the tomato plants, but they held up pretty good except that one limb, but it's still attached. So I think it can grow back together, Lord willing, hopefully. I'm trying to get my autofocus there. There we go. And uh, this tomato plant, lots of tomato plants, y'all. That's like a habanero plant. That is what that is. It's already flowering. Check that out, y'all. It's already flowering. Isn't that nice? It's nice. I can get some of this grass away from my tomato plant here. Anyways, y'all, there's another pepper plant right there. There we go. Another pepper plant, but there. Oh, I gotta show you all this. This right here is my Chef Jeff's Cayenne Hot Peppers. 30 to 50K Scovilles. Scoville heat units. And look, y'all, <laughs> there's already some green cayennes on it. Isn't it nice? It's a blessing. I have some cayenne pepper seeds. I think I might should, uh, Plant some in cups and uh, then transplant them later because I love cayenne peppers, to be honest. And I know there's some huge cayenne peppers along, like real big cayenne peppers. And maybe I should get those seeds one day too. But I like these too. These are the traditional cayenne peppers. They, uh, not too long, but um, they probably stay around that, around that size, I mean, but maybe a little bit bigger. And they turn red when they're ready, when they're really hot. The hot peppers, cayenne hot pepper seeds, cayenne, or cayenne hot peppers. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to show y'all 
some of my cucumber. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's a cucumber. That's my seedless cucumber, sweet success vegetable. I also have some of the seed seed cucumbers because I like to replant those. There's some of my cucumber plants there and there. And then I also have, I think that's, uh, I know there's a lot of weeds growing around. I think that's uh, maybe okra. It might be okra too. I'm not sure. And anyways, got some watermelon. Some more watermelon. I got so much vegetables, y'all. Watermelon there. There's a little small watermelon there. There's a little big frog. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. There's a watermelon. And there's a watermelon. I gotta I think I'm gonna try to help lift this one up a little bit more. There we go. By the way, y'all, these are the yellow watermelons. Yellow. Matures in 70 days. 10 pound fruit size. The other one gets up to like 30 pound fruit size, I believe. The red ones, red watermelon, traditional ones. I'm gonna try the yellow ones and see how they taste. Supposedly these used to be what watermelon were, were yellow. Until over years and years, they became red. And these supposedly taste more like a honey flavor too, which will be interesting to try. The yellow watermelon. I also have some yellow tomatoes that I showed you over there. And uh, this is one of my biggest sweet potato plants. I'm hoping all my sweet potato plants get bigger like this, but I'm just, I'm just blessed that all these vegetables are grown and that this sweet potato is already this big, this plant here. And that's nice. And that one right there is getting bigger. And that one right there is getting bigger. And I got a good amount of sweet potato plants. There's all kinds of ants there for some reason. Hmm. Sweet potato plants. I hope and pray they grow because I love sweet potatoes. Hope they grow good and yield their sweet potato fruits. There's some more sweet potatoes. I think that's all the sweet potatoes, I believe. Hmm. I love my garden. It's very pretty. Has all kinds of squash plants in the distance. All those are squash plants, I believe. Anyways, y'all, this is Josh Hayes. May God bless you all.